Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight world? This your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on a bombshell. I'm talking about a bigger than bigger than bombshell. We have Canelo Alvarez, arguably the greatest Mexican fighter of all time, the four division world champion. My guy, my guy, taking on another one of my guys in Jamel Iron Man Charlo, the undisputed super welterweight world champion, September 30th. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, grab your hats. Grab your hats. But nah, listen here, man. We all thought Canelo and Jamal was going down, right? Everybody had they, they mindset on Canelo Alvarez versus Jamal Charlo, the, the, the older brother, right? And, you know, we got to quit saying the older brother because they both are twins. And I feel Jamal on this shit. And I'm, and I'm going to set the record straight. But we all thought... Canelo was fighting the other brother in Jamal Charlo at 160 pounds, right? But it looked like Canelo is taking on Jamal Charlo. Both of them just dropped on their Instagram. Undisputed versus undisputed. September the 30th. It's going down. History in the making. And it's all about what, what weight is going to be at. You know, Canelo say he's not coming from 168. He had 154 exactly. So they might meet in the middle, man. It might be 165 or something like that, bro. But I like it. And I like it a lot. Why do Monty Brown like Jamel Cholo versus Jamal? Ch I mean, Jamel Cholo versus Canelo Alvarez? Because Jamel is a dog. I say he's a dog. He's an animal. You feel me? He's been on a run, bro. He's been on a run. You dig? And a lot of people going to say, well, man, Canelo fighting the little bitty brother, man. Jamel Cholo, man. Come on, man. Money Brown, you can't be standing up for this shit, man. Why Jamel Cholo, man? Man, shut y'all weak asses up. I salute Jamel Cholo. I salute Jamel Cholo. You feel me? He putting it on the line. Straight like that. Yeah, he putting it on the line. He going out there getting him a bag at that. You feel me? But he want to go out there and face the greatness. He said that shit. He said, undisputed versus undisputed. I'll fight Canelo motherfucking ass. I'll take it up. Since people want to call out my big brother, they want to make me to be my big brother. I'll fight Canelo. And he's stepping up to the plate. He's stepping up to the plate. You understand? Now, for Jamal Charlo, I kind of feel bad for once again. Because this is a ball dropped if he was supposed to fight Canelo Alvarez and he didn't get it. This is a ball drop. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of y'all was hating on this fight, man, when Maul coming back and facing Canelo Alvarez, getting right back in the thick of things, not wasting no time, being a man, stepping up to the plate, doing what he got to do for the sport of boxing, doing what he got to do for himself and his family. And all y'all did was cry like little hoes, bro. That's all y'all did was cry like little hoes. I'm tired of y'all crybaby ass content creators and fanboys. You dig? Shouts out to Jamal Trello, man. I want him to bounce back and bounce back nicely, bro. Bounce back and bounce back nicely. And I hope him and his brother don't have no animosity over this because, listen, this is some big-time shit that just happened, family. Yeah, this is some big-time shit. For Jamal Cholo plus to be fighting Canelo Alvarez and it gets switched over to the little brother, right? That's some big-time shit. And, like, that would be some animosity shit because this is the big stage, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This ain't none of that Pee Wee Herman shit. You feel me? This ain't none of that little boy shit. This is big dollars. This is big money. You understand what I'm saying? Big, big money right here on a big, big stage against a big, big name. You dig what I'm saying? For a big, big bag and some big ass recognition. So, man, I'm going to say this, homie. If this is the fight, salute to Canelo Alvarez for going over the PBC. You dig what I'm saying? Giving us the best versus the best. I mean, what y'all go say now? Huh? I mean, what y'all go say now? He still should be fighting Benavidez. Huh? Jamel Cholo ain't never fought above 154. Jamel Cholo ain't never fought a 168 pounder. Jamel Cholo, man, he, he just doing it for the money, man. He, he just doing it for the money. Oh, well. Oh, well. He's stepping up to the plate like a man. You feel me? While well, y'all crying like little girls. And y'all favorite fight is ducking, motherfuckers. You dig? Jamel Cholo has a shot to win this fight. Jamel Cholo is very active. Jamel Cholo can punch. 
Jamel Cholo can move. You dig what I'm saying? Canelo, he got to be on this shit for this fight, bro. Canelo got to be on this shit for this fight, bro. This ain't no gimme. This ain't easy right here, bro. This ain't no fucking gimme, homie. People can say what they want to say. But this is a good fucking fight. This is a good fucking fight, bro. At the end of the day, I'm going to let y'all know, Canelo ain't no motherfucking 68-pounder. Let me put that out there. He ain't a 68-pounder. At best, he's a, a, a middleweight. At best, Canelo Alvarez is a middleweight. At best. You feel me? He just so damn good, he went up and whooped their ass at 168 because he that damn good. And people don't want to give him his just doing his credit. He just that damn good. So this go pan out just about right. It's going to pan out just about right, bro. And I'm telling you, it's going to be fireworks. It's going to be give and take. It's going to be fireworks. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to enjoy it, bro. It just come down to, um, like I say, Jamal Cholo, man. Like, the situation at hand and people, you know, shitting on the dude and hating on him. You know, it's just, it don't sit right with me. You know I'm saying? It don't sit right with me. So, Canelo is working on master plans. Al Hamlet is working on master plans. Jamel Charlo, we know he heard his hand. He was supposed to be fighting uh, Tim Zoo and things of that nature. But, man, this is a bombshell. You know, this is totally out of left field. Nobody's seen this coming. Nobody can act like they saw this coming. And now it's going to be like, shit, what's next after this fight? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's next after this fight? Because Canelo is over there trying to fight the best catch that's available, dog. He's trying to fight the best catch that, that's available, and he's trying to give us what we want. The best versus the best. Yeah, I say the best versus the best. And I know it's going to be a lot of people crying about this. I can't wait to hear people's videos and their reaction and things of that nature because I know they're going to try to slander Canelo. I know they're going to try to slander Jamel Charlo, but I ain't going to let y'all do that. No, I ain't going to let y'all do that. Y'all say y'all want good fights, right? Y'all say y'all want good fights. Now, somebody tell me this ain't a good fucking fight. I'm waiting for somebody to tell me that this is not a good fight, bro. This is undisputed versus undisputed. This is making history, baby. This is making history. When the last time we had two undisputed champions fight against each other? Huh? Huh? Somebody tell me that. Somebody tell me that. When the last time we had two undisputed champions taking each other on in a sport of boxing, baby? Well, we barely get undisputed, but 2023 and 22 is the year of undisputed. You dig me? So I respect this fight to the utmost, to the fullest. To the utmost, to the fullest. But it's going to be fireworks, man. It's going to be fireworks. We're going to enjoy it, man. It's entertainment, y'all. Um, listen, Canelo is making moves over on the PBC side, and PBC is making moves with Canelo Alvarez. They're trying to get the biggest bang for their buck. If they go slap Canelo with a nine-figure deal, they want to get that nine figures and some back. You understand what I'm saying? They probably felt like, you know what, Canelo versus Jamal might be a little dempsey because of what people talking about him just coming back and things of that nature. He's been out the ring for two years. So let's make Canelo versus Jamal, Cholo. Let's do undisputed versus undisputed. Let's do something that's never been done before. Let's go break the box office. You dig? And that's what they doing, B. They're trying to break the box office. Now, after this, you might get Canelo versus Benavidez. And after that, we might get Canelo versus Earl the True Spence Jr. You never know. You never know. It's a three-fight deal. Guess what? You might get Canelo versus both brothers. You might get Canelo versus Jamel first, Canelo versus Jamal, and then Canelo versus Earl Spence. Oh, man. Oh, man. Canelo taking on the Texas boys. Canelo taking on the Texas boys. Or it might be David Benavidez at the end. We just got to wait and see, fam. But I like this fight. I see what PBC is doing. They're trying to break the box office. They're trying to get the biggest bang for their buck and give us entertainment at the same time. Canelo Alvarez is a fucking monster for doing this type of shit. Jamel Cholo is a fucking monster for doing this type of shit. Y'all fans, y'all should be appreciative. Yeah, y'all should be appreciative. So let's wait for the rest of the details to come out. Let's see what happened with Jamal Cholo. Let's see if he approve of his brother fighting Canelo before he get the fight with Canelo. And then let's see what the boxing world just got to say because I know it's going to be a lot said now that Canelo is stepping up to the plate 
fighting the big dogs because people are hating on them any goddamn way. So let's just see the reaction around the boxing world because it's going crazy. I'm seeing people dropping videos left to right. I know everybody got something to say, but it's okay. You dig what I'm saying? We got another good-ass fight September the 30th. Canelo Alvarez versus Jamil Charlo. Undisputed versus Undisputed. Something that's haven't been done in a long time. History in the making. Let's enjoy it, fight fans. Let's enjoy it. Shouts out to Jamil Cholo and shouts out to Canelo Alvarez. I can't wait. Straight like that. Boxing is on fire for 2023. Let's get it.